Hi, it's Maria again. First, I want to thank all of you for the views and likes for the first edition of the Maria Report a couple of weeks ago. I've been working hard to make the second one even better. The COVID-19 virus has changed the way we live, and we can't ignore it. That's why this edition of my YouTube channel has a lot to do with how all of us are dealing with it. So sit back, relax, and find out what's been happening outside your house for the last couple weeks. Thanks to the COVID-19 virus, more and more parents are working from home and tending to their children at the same time. Add to that until a week or so ago, we still had winter weather, and that means a lot of togetherness indoors. That can be hard on the nerves of everyone. What to do to keep everyone busy and entertained? Well, some area people have turned to an old favorite to have some plain, old-fashioned fun, board games. My friend Cassie and I have been playing board games of one kind or another ever since we can remember. I remember starting off with kids games like Candyland and Shoots and Ladders. Later my father taught me tabletop sports simulation games which we still play. Our favorites are made by Stratomatic Games and include baseball, basketball, football, and hockey in both card and dice and personal computer versions. Sometimes though, I prefer Monopoly to keep my counting skills sharp and because it gives me a chance to socialize. I also like Sorry because I get to bump off other pieces and because I find it relaxing. In this time of social distancing, board games can still be played by way of FaceTime and Skype. After all, just because you can't sit across a table from your friends doesn't mean you can't enjoy their company. Trust me, friends, sometime soon this COVID-19 virus will be behind us and we can start to get together socially again. When that happens, some folks in my age group will be expecting babies and many of us will be invited to baby showers. That means we'll have to decide upon a gift for the about-to-be mother and I have an idea. Instead of giving the traditional diapers and baby wipes, how about making a gift of some colorful, customized decorative coat hangers? You can even order small ones for those onesies that are sure to be given, and you can pick the colors. Just give me two weeks and I'll have them ready for you. And all you have to do is contact me by way of Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and let me make your baby shower shopping easier. Special situations call for special people to step up, and the Elbertly area has several of them. These people have brought game to the COVID-19 scene in our community and deserve recognition for their efforts. Male healthcare folks and all area first responders who consistently watch out for our welfare. Area sewers, including my mother and many of her quilting friends who have spent countless hours in their own resources to make and donate masks to help prevent the spread of disease. Lizzie and Logan Meyer of LM Photography for implementing a community photography event where they take pictures of area residents enjoying outdoor activities. The Albert Lee Tribune and area television and radio broadcasters for providing accurate, up-to-date information for us to use in making decisions. Special thanks to Bill and Sean Bromland of Anytime Fitness 
for driving around Albert Lee last weekend and stopping to spread cheer to their many friends in the community. To all those people and my friend Cassie who helped me with the board game story, thank you. We really appreciate what you do for us. Hey friends, I need your help. Please let me know what you think of my YouTube channel and send me your ideas of what you would like to see on it. Be sure to hit the like icon. Thanks. See you next time.